this Diablo 4 guide, you will learn how to get to the Pharaoh's Den dungeon. The Pharaoh's Den is north of Skosglen. It's a dungeon that you might find hard to find at first, because it's actually locked. It's right here at Mordain Lodge, and when you first get here, this area is actually a stronghold. So you have to clear the stronghold first. You will probably approach this area from south here, from Tirmayr, so you have to just go up here and go through the south uh, section of Mordain Lodge and north section of the Shrouded Moors. And when you go up, the event will trigger and you have to find the corpses of three hunters. I believe the corpses are located here, northeast, another one around here in the southeast. And the last one is actually here at the center. Here at the center, you, if you pick this body, Last, you will spawn the boss, and you will fight it a while here, and then it will run towards north, unblocking this passage, which will be blocked before you clear the stronghold, and then you go north, fight the boss, clear it, and interact with a shrine around this area, and then the whole area is clear, and you will unlock the Pharaoh's Den. Clearing the Pharaoh's Den dungeon can be a little annoying, there are a lot of elites you have to kill to collect their animas. Remember, after you kill them, you have to collect the little glowing orbs off the floor so you can progress through the first part of the dungeon. Then you just have to walk around quite a lot, meet a lot of elite enemies, which shouldn't be like that much of an issue. But like walking around, having to find all the enemies, even though they're marked with the white skulls on the map once you get close to them, can be a little annoying. So it's usually not worth the hassle for the experience. You probably just want to go to the Feral's Den if you have a sigil to activate Nightmare Mode on it. Or if you really want the aspect of Quicksand, which is a Druid exclusive aspect that lets damage from Earth skills slow enemies for 5 seconds. So if you're using aspect of the Ursine Horror on a Pulverize Druid build, that means your Pulverize will now slow enemies, which will apply CC and crowd control is a condition for many triggers and some passives and active abilities on Druid to deal more damage, to deal more effects. So you probably want this if you can already combo it with things that, that help you deal increase the damage to crowd controlled enemies. Basically you have area slow that can really help you deal more damage and clear bosses and even clear other mobs in an easier way. Of course, most bosses don't usually get affected by crowd control skills, but they usually have the stagger bar. So if you're applying slow on them, you're building up their stagger bar until the stun point, which will let you then do even more damage. So Aspect of Quicksand can be very useful for Druids, especially on Pulverize or if you're running any kind of other Earth skill on your Druid. Otherwise, the boss fight is quite easy. From my experience, I noticed that boss fights in dungeons, uh, at least after like level 40 until level 50 on World Tier 3, they become more trivial because it seems like you outscale them, so fights become a little easier. So if you are at the lower level, I don't know, 25, 30, 35, you might struggle a little bit more and have to care a little bit more about mechanics. So essentially, as with most <laughs> uh, Diablo 4 bosses and even other RPG bosses, you just want to avoid anything that is glowing on the ground that is not from your character. So avoid any area of effect if you have to stop dealing damage to avoid anything the boss is throwing at you, do so, so that you can survive and then deal more damage. So just be careful with it and you should have an easy clear, easy loot, and then have your sigil, sorry, your aspect ready to be equipped. Remember, you can equip it in helms, chest armor, gloves, boots, shields and amulets. So yeah, just make sure you gear your character properly and can clear the dungeon. Also, you're probably noticing this, that this is a fairly new channel. I don't have a lot of subscribers yet. So if you can just leave a like and leave a subscribe, it really helps me go through the YouTube algorithm thing. Uh, you can, like, I would love if you could return, but you, you don't need to if you don't want. Like, I just need your help to go through the whole <laughs> YouTube algorithm thing. So any like, any comment is really appreciated and really helps other people get to this content. Because if you watch so far, you probably like the content. So help other people reach this content, help me. And that's uh, that's all I have for you today. Thank you a lot.